Chuck, and today I'm in the yard playing with some toys. Hey, check this out. Is this a dinosaur? You're right, I think it is. Oh, it's a triceratops because it has three horns. One, two, three. This triceratops is the color purple. Isn't that so cool? Do you wanna go on a dino hunt with me? I think there are more of these around the yard. Come on, let's see what we can find. Check it out up here. This is a pteranodon. Oh, wow. Pteranodons, their wingspan could go up to 18 feet. That's like as long as a car. That is such a long pteranodon. And it's the color red. Oh, we found two dinosaurs. One, two, let's keep exploring. Oh boy, look at this guy. This is a velociraptor. Whoa, he's blue. Oh wow, and he's got some claws and teeth. Oh, that is really cool. Velociraptors are kind of misunderstood because they might have actually had feathers, but they couldn't fly. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Well, how many dinosaurs do we have now? One, two, three. Three dinosaurs, come on. Hey, check this guy out. It's a Brachiosaurus next to a pool. Looks like he's trying to get a drink of water. You need some help, little buddy? Oh, there you go. I bet that's refreshing. Hey, Brachiosaurus kind of sounds like Brachiosaurus. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Guess what? These Brachiosaurus, they could be as long as two school buses and as tall as a four-story building. Isn't that huge? Wow, I can't imagine seeing one in real life. That would have been incredible. What color is this guy? Oh, he's blue. Isn't that so cool? And now, how many dinosaurs do we have? Let's count them. We have one, two, three, four. Four dinosaurs. We gotta keep searching. Come on. Check it out. We found two more dinosaurs. Oh boy, look at this one. This right here is a stegosaurus and it's yellow. Wow, a stegosaurus has plates on the back and spikes on its tail. They use their tails to defend themselves against Tyrannosaurus Rex. And they were in a fight, weren't you? Hey guys, it's not good to fight. Oh boy, I bet he was probably pretty hungry. <laughs> wow, this Tyrannosaurus Rex is so cool. They had 60 teeth and could bite through things so powerful with their big jaws. Oh wow, can you imagine seeing a Tyrannosaurus Rex in real life? Or any of these dinosaurs? I mean, imagine a pteranodon flying over your head. Oh, that would cast a big shadow, huh? It's like a big airplane. Wow, these dinosaurs are so cool. Did you notice something about them? They're made out of plastic and magnets. That's right, they can stick together. Isn't that cool? Wow, well now that I have all the dinosaurs, let's count them. We have one Brachiosaurus, two Velociraptor, three Triceratops, four Pteranodon, five Stegosaurus, and six Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh wow, these guys are awesome. Hey, you wanna play with them? Come on over here, I have some magnetile toys. Let's go check them out. Look at all these fun magnetiles. Aren't these awesome? All right, well I'm gonna set these dinosaurs off to the side and then we can build them a habitat. Do you know what a habitat is? It's a place where animals live, or people. Oh boy. All right, let's build it.
That's pretty cool, huh? Look, it's a dinosaur fort. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, guys, I want to introduce you to your new home. Oh, wow, check this out. Oh, oh boy. Hey, look, it's my bedroom. That's right, this could be your bedroom, huh, Tyrannosaurus Rex? That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this, the raptor. Hey, there's some walls I could climb. Oh yeah, you could climb all over this wall. Oh, look, he can even hook on right there. Oh boy, that looks like fun. I wish I had a rock climbing wall in my house. That would be really neat. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I see these plants right here. I could eat them all day long. <laughs> yep, I built them just for you, Brachiosaurus. Or uh, should I say Brecky Brachiosaurus? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <gasps> oh, wow. This Pteranodon, he can fly all over his house. How's the view up there, buddy? Oh, I love it. I can even perch myself on the roof. Oh, wow, you see that? He's got a magnet on his belly. That is super neat. Oh, we could set him at the very top. There you go. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Stegosaurus, come on in. I want to show you around. Oh, look at this. Is there a way I could get up on the second floor? Oh, I'm sure I could lift you up. Oh, wait, maybe the Brachiosaurus could help you. Hey, buddy, you need a lift? Yeah, I was thinking I wanted to see what it looked like up there. Oh, no problem, just jump on my big long neck. Ta-da! Oh, thank you so much, this is awesome. Oh, no problem, buddy. I'm gonna go eat some more plants. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, Triceratops, it's your turn. Come on in. Oh, this is so cool. And check it out, those are my footprints right there. That's right, buddy. Look, it's a home sweet home mat. It's like a welcome mat. He can wipe his feet on it. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, what do you think of your new house? Oh, I love it. I just could sit in here and sleep. Well, you guys are getting along pretty well for being dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, well, this has been so much fun. Hey, you know what? While we're learning about dinosaurs, you wanna go check out Jurassic Quest? I got to meet a real raptor. It was a Utah raptor in real life. Come on, let's go say hi. So today we're gonna explore and learn about our colors and our sea creatures. So here's how you play. You open up these cards right here. Ooh. And on it, it has a bunch of different uh, colors and labels like green, orange, purple, sea star, turtle, and fish. Wow, this looks like a lot of fun. So here's how we're gonna play the game. This right here is a fishing pole. Ooh, that's fun. And it has Velcro on it. And these are felt shapes and animal sea creatures. Ooh, are you ready to play? Okay, I'm gonna pick up a card. It says turtle. Okay, so now we have to go fishing with our fishing pole for a turtle. Do you see a turtle? Ooh, how about this one? Purple turtle. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Look at him. He stuck right to it. This is the color purple. And this is a sea creature that's a turtle. <laughs> we did it. All right, let's find another turtle. Ooh, let's see, can you see another turtle? Which one should I get? <gasps> Maybe this big one over here. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa, look what we got. It's an orange sea turtle. We've got a daddy one and a baby one. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. How are you today? I'm doing really good, Dad. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, good job. All right, let's pick another card. It says fish. Okay, now we gotta find a fish. Hmm, which one is a 
fish. Do you know what a fish looks like? Oh. We got them! What color is this? That's right, this is the color green. Here's a green mama fish. What, what face does a fish make? <laughs> That's how I do my fishes anyway. Oh, Ruger, how you doing, big boy? We're having fun. No, 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 don't get slobber on my game, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's pick another card. Green, this is the color green. So now we have to find something green. Hmm, what's green? Ooh, this, uh, oh, what is this? <gasps> A sea star. This sea star is the color green. And it's the shape of a star, it's so pretty. Ooh, have you ever seen a sea star before? I have, wow. Okay, let's see. <gasps> sea star, <laughs> we have to find another sea star. All right, let's do it. Let's get the rest of the sea stars. Boop, there's one orange sea star. Purple sea star. <laughs> Boop. A green sea star. Any more sea stars? <gasps> Two more. A purple big sea star. And an orange sea star. <laughs> I think we've got all the sea stars. Do you see any more? I don't. <laughs> Good job. All right, time to pick another card. Orange! All right, now we have to find the rest of the orange things. <gasps> Let's see. Ooh, orange! This is an orange fish, isn't it? <laughs> Good job! Okay. Orange turtle. Okay, one more orange thing. Hmm. <laughs> Ta-da! We did it! The last orange item, which is a sea creature and it's a fish. <laughs> Good job! Let's pick one more card and then we're done. <gasps> purple! This says purple. Okay, let's find the purple items. <gasps> the purple creature is a fish! Oh, this is the color purple. Purple, can you say purple? Purple, purple, purple. That's a really pretty color. Okay. Boop. We got a purple baby fish. And one more purple. Doot. There it is. <laughs> this is a purple turtle. Wow, we did it. We found all the purple things. Good job, everybody. All right, so since we're done with this game, now we can put all these things away. We can even put the cards in here. Hold it up like this, pack it away, clip it shut. Oh, and I almost forgot. We can even put our fishing pole in here. And there you go. It's a game on the go. <laughs> That's really fun. All righty. And now I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun art project. Okay, well now it's time to make our art project. So check it out. We have a turtle and a fish, two sea creatures. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open this little bag of tissue papers. These are colorful tissue papers. If I can get them out of here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Whoa, look at all the colors we have. We have yellow, blue, purple, orange, and green. Those are really pretty. All right, so for this project, what we're gonna do is peel off this sticky piece of paper here. Whoop. We're making a fun stained glass sea creature fish. Ooh, so now that this is all sticky, we're gonna take some tissue papers and stick it on. All right, let's do blue. Ooh, I love the color blue. Get a purple one. Oh, I'm trying to get it to stick. There we 
go. Ooh, and we cover all of this sticky part with these cute little tiny tissue papers. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Red. Let's do another purple if I can get it. Purple. Blue. <gasps> I haven't put any green on here yet. Ooh. Oh, don't fly away, papers. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, green. Put another green on there. Yellow again, because I love the color yellow. <laughs> Orange, that's a really pretty color too. All right, now let's see what our sea creature looks like. Okay, I'm gonna set those over there so they don't fly away. Look at that! See that, when we hold it up to the light, you can see all of our pretty colors. This is our stained glass Fish. Ooh, oh, oh. check it out, Uncle Teddy. Oh, don't eat him. <laughs> he wasn't gonna eat him. <gasps> Uncle Teddy, I sure love this guy. He's one of my closest friends. <laughs> wow, Uncle Teddy, what do you think? Is that pretty cool? I really love it, Bricky Brick. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, it sure is. <laughs> wow, well, I might save this sea turtle for later. This is a really fun one. All right. Are you guys ready to read a book? <gasps> Remember, they sent us this fun book in this box. I think it's time that we read it. Olive search for shells. Beach day, Olive called as she raced to fill her pail with shells. <gasps> One, two, three shells. Whoa, she's on a roll. Oops, are you collecting shells too, Olive asked? No, replied Hugo. I need a new shell to live in. I've grown too big for mine. Hi, I'm Olive. Hi, I'm Hugo. Oh, those are kind of fun names. <laughs> I can help you, offered Olive. I'm an expert shell finder. She bounced into action. Wow, thanks, said Hugo. <laughs> Olive found a shell in a cool tide pool, but it was too big. Well, it's really roomy. Oh boy. Oh, it says it's very roomy is what Hugo said. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big shell, isn't it? Wow. She found another shell under some slippery seaweed, but it was too small. That might make a nice hat, said Hugo. <laughs> Look at it. She brought her a tiny purple shell. Oh boy, that's a little bit small. Then Olive found a shell tangled in a fishing line, but it was too dull. Oh boy, that's not gonna be okay. Maybe a little more pizzazz. He wanted something a little more, uh, you know, funky and fresh, because he's a cool Hugo little sea crab. Was he? I don't know. Okay, okay good. Good. She found a shell on the tip top of a sand castle, but it was too shiny. Whoa, too much pizzazz. They needed some sunglasses. Well, this is so shiny. <laughs> That's funny. Olive searched in sand pails, behind boats, behind boat sails. I'm sorry, let me do this page. Olive searched in sand pails, behind boat sails, on whale tails. <laughs> what? She's riding a whale's tail to search for a shell. Whoa! And everywhere in between, but still no luck. They can't find a perfect shell for Hugo. Tired and disappointed, Olive and Hugo plopped down in the sand. Oh, can crabs live in jars? <laughs> yes, that's funny, no. Then Olive heard a sound, a soft and soothing sound. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Aha, it 
was a shell. A beautiful, not too big, not too small, not too dull, not too shiny shell. And best of all, it sounded like the ocean. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. That's the perfect shell. Hugo moved right in. Wow. <gasps> At the end of her beach day, Olive hadn't just found shells. She found something even better. A new friend. <laughs> oh man, that is so fun. Look at, and her sign even says, home sweet home. Hugo and Olive, best buddies. Oh, and look at this one. Hugo put on the old shell, vacancy, which means empty, ready for rooms. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. I love that story. Wow, that sure was a lot of fun reading this story and learning about sea creatures and colors with you today. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, if you want to stay up to date on all of our fun adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time. Parents, KiwiCo is a really fun subscription box where they can send you any science or art experiments based on the age that you ask. It's really fun. So check them out. Thanks a lot, KiwiCo. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's me, Brecky Breck, and guess what we're gonna do today? Today, we're gonna do a quick five minute exercise, okay? Are you ready? Exercising is really important because if you're not just doing cardio exercise, which is moving your body a lot, it's important to build muscles too. So we're gonna work on strengthening our muscles. Can you flex for me? Arr, yeah, big muscles, <laughs> good job. Okay, so the first exercise is jumping jacks. So to do a jumping jack, you go whoop, like a starfish. Open, close, open, close. Now this is just to get our body moving, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, well now that we've got our body moving, now we're gonna do our second exercise, which is called a push-up. In order to do a push-up, you get down like this on the floor, and then you drop your body down, flat, stiff as a board, and come right back up. But if you can't do it like that, you can get on your knees like this. Stay stiff as a board, and let's do 10 of those. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <laughs> Good job. Hey, you know what? As a firefighter, you gotta stay really fit. So we're gonna do some push-ups just to make sure we're ready to fight some fires and save the day. Are you guys ready? Let's do Let's this. Let's go. Oh boy. Let's count together. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy, these guys sure are strong. Man, wow, thank you heroes. You guys are awesome. Okay. Now, our third exercise, we're gonna stay on the floor. Now these are called the Supermans. Superman, he goes like this, doesn't he? <laughs> so, when I count to three, we're gonna lift up our legs and our arms, and that tightens up our leg muscles and our back muscles to strengthen the muscles there. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, up. Hold it, hold it. Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Ready? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Good job, everybody. Okay, now. 
let's stand back up. For our fifth exercise, we are gonna spread our legs like this, and this is called a lunge. You go like this, whoa. And you bend your knees down, and you almost touch the ground with this one, but you don't. So you go like this. This is called a walking lunge, but we're gonna stay in place. Okay, do you think you can try this? Spread one leg forward like you're about to run. And then you just squat down like this. Keep your back straight. Wow. Wow. This is a good exercise for your legs. Sometimes when you're exercising, you can feel really tired. But that's a good thing, because that means that you're strengthening those muscles. Oh, look at us. Five more. One. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Now we're gonna do some stretches. After you've exercised, it's really important to stretch those muscles. So reach your arms way up high to the sky. Stand on your tippy toes like you're trying to reach something on the top shelf. Ooh, good job. Now fold your body in half and try to touch your toes, okay? Wow. Good job. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna wiggle our shoulders like this. Can you like this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Up and down, up and down, around in a circle. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now we're gonna wiggle our heads from one, put your ear on your shoulder and roll it to the other side. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy. Feels good to stretch your body, doesn't it? Almost done. Good job, everybody. Okay, now we're gonna flap our arms in a big circle like we're a windmill. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, you can wiggle them like this too. Stretch out your back. Oh, that feels good. Now wiggle your hips in a circle like you're hula hooping. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Now your knees. <laughs> now your ankles. One ankle, two ankles. Switch, switch. <laughs> good job. All right. Well, those were some good exercises, and I hope you feel ready to go through the day. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Hey! If you want to stay up to date on all of our adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. <laughs> Thank you. Have you ever looked at a mess and felt so overwhelmed, like it's just too much for you to handle? Ah, that's how I feel right now. But you know what? I have an idea. If we clean up one thing at a time and we only look at that one item, maybe it'll go by faster. Let's start with all the stuffed animals. Well, it looks like we got all the stuffed animals. Oh boy. I have a nasty old band-aid stuck to my sock. Ew! I think this goes in the trash can. The next thing that I'm going to pick up is all of the cars. The next thing we can pick up is all of the art supplies. Look at that! Just one thing at a time and it's already starting to look cleaner. Let's pick up the books. It's right here. That looks nice. All right, time to pick up all my sports equipment. This one's too small for me. I have this other one, and this one fits just right. Check it out. So, I'm gonna donate this glove because it's too small, and maybe someone else will be able to use it. I'll put that in the donate box. All my sports equipment in here. These are all my balls. This is looking so much better. Oh boy, these go by the door. Ooh, and my stinky socks. Those go in the dirty laundry hamper. This shirt is cute, but it's too small. So I'm gonna put that in my donate box. And look at this. This is 
needs a globe. But I already have another one. I don't need two globes. I'll put that in my donate box. Time to pick up the magnet tiles. Look at this. All I see is trash or recycling. I don't know if this can goes in the recycling bin or the trash bin. And what about this piece of paper? And a lithium ion battery? Oh boy. So this is my garbage bin and this is my recycling bin. We've got paper in the recycling bin. <gasps> An old toilet paper roll. Our macaroni and cheese box can be recycled. This plastic water bottle's recycled. This tin is recycled. This dirty old sponge goes in the trash. This super thin plastic wrap goes in the trash. This banana peel goes in the compost. I have that next to the kitchen counter. And all of these batteries have a special place to be recycled. They don't go in the recycling bin or the garbage bin. So I'm gonna set these aside as well. Look at how clean this room looks. And I'm so excited that I get to donate some of my old things so maybe someone else will enjoy them. That's kind of cool. And now we get to play. Check it out. This bin totally unzips. <laughs> There are so many different shapes and sizes of magnet tiles, like this big blue one and yellow one. And then we have these small ones in orange and green. Oh wow, I can make like a castle, a wall, and we've got so many cool shapes to work with. Do you think I can make this two stories tall? I think so too. Let's try. We can pretend that the princess lives right here. There you go, princess. The awesome thing about magnet tiles is that there's no one way to do it. Do you see my slanted roof? Isn't that so cool? I love it. I almost feel like an architect. That's someone who designs really cool buildings. Look at that. We can pretend this is a loft. And we've got some books right here to read and we're looking out my big blue window. You know what I think we need now is a front yard. Come on, let's build a front yard. Check it out! I made an awesome castle with a tunnel and it goes all the way out to my secret clubhouse. Isn't that so cool? Hello! <laughs> oh boy! You know what another fun thing to do is? Is to destroy stuff! It's so fun to destroy stuff, as long as I'm willing to pick it up, which I definitely am. All right, are you ready? One, two, three! Oh, that was so cool! Wow, well thanks for learning with me today, you guys. I had so much fun cleaning up this room. You were a big help, too. And thanks for using your imagination to build a magnetile castle. That was super fun, and my favorite part was the secret hideout on the side. All right, well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye! Hey, friends! We're going on a books and bike tour all over the United States. We're going to have story times at local libraries where I'll read a couple of my favorite books. We'll make a fun craft and even have time for a little dance party. We're also hosting bike events you can attend at local BMX tracks. You can show up with or without a bike. I'll bring some extra bikes and helmets for those that don't have one. And we'll get to explore and ride around the track together. And while I'm in your city, I'm going to film something amazing. Whether it's a cool museum, park, restaurant, or an awesome machine with wheels, I want to learn about it and all the things that make your city unique. And thanks to all of our amazing sponsors, these events are all absolutely free. Isn't that so cool? Oh boy, I hope to meet you on the road. Guess what? Today, we're going to learn about some science. Are you ready? Come on! Look at this! 
Ooh, this is where we're gonna do our science experiment. This right here is cornstarch, which is a solid. You wanna see it? Ooh, it's kind of powdery. And this right here is water, which is our liquid. And today, we're gonna make oobleck. Oobleck is a substance that's like a liquid and a solid at the same time. Isn't that crazy? All right, well, here's how we do it. We're gonna dump this cornstarch into this bin right here. Ooh. Then we're gonna add some water to it. Ooh, this is gonna be super fun. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. I forgot to bring a spoon, so we're gonna use this stick to stir it up. Ooh, watch as I stir it. It starts out pretty easy to stir, but it's getting harder. It's kind of slimy. Oh, maybe we should add some more cornstarch and see what happens. Oh, that's hard to stir around. Look at this. Okay, once we get this all stirred up, I'm gonna show you some cool tricks that this oobleck can do. Whoa, this feels so weird. Do you see how it looks like a liquid, but then you can break it apart. Watch this. Look at that. When I hit it fast, it stops my fingers. But if I move really slow, I can actually pick it up like a liquid. <gasps> Crazy. Wow. Look at that! Hey, what do you say we turn this yellow? Should we make it yellow? I love the color yellow. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna open this up. Squirt a couple dabs of yellow. Boop. Maybe just, well, we'll do one more. Boop. that. See this? I'm just hitting it so fast that it's turning into a solid the minute the pressure hits it. That's crazy. Okay, let's try throwing some marbles at it and see what happens. Oh, it hit, it stayed still, and then it slowly started to sink down. Let's try that again. Oh. Whoa. Let's get those marbles out of here and see what... Whoa! You guys should definitely try this at home. All it takes is water and cornstarch. Hey, I have an idea. Do you want to make more of it? Like, a lot? Let's do it. Look at what I have. A big tub. Okay, water, scooch over here. Let's dump this in here. Oh, watch. It's hitting it like a solid, but it's still a liquid too. That is very unusual. Oh boy, look at that. I can break it apart even. Set that over there, watch this. Ooh, but then it turns into liquid. All right, let's add some more. Okay, 
now we're gonna mix it around. Okay, let's put some more food coloring in here. Some more yellow color. Oh boy! <laughs> I love the color yellow. It's such a happy, bright color. Now that we have this all mixed up, ooh, let's try pounding on it with a big rock. Oh, I brought this big rock over here. What do you think's gonna happen? Let's look. Whoa, it just stopped right at the top when I pounded it that first second. And then it starts to finally melt into it. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, look, I'm gonna break it up under here. Ugh. Do you see that? That's really interesting. Okay, hey look, I've got Grave Digger. <gasps> Watch this, if I drive him fast enough across this Ublik, he probably won't even stick into it. <sighs> Whoa. Watch, now let's go slow. Oh, he's sinking down. Come on, Grave Digger. I also brought some cool diggers. Look at this one. This is a bulldozer, and it's got tracks. This is a backhoe. Ooh, it's got a front bucket and a back bucket. This is an excavator. It's got a big arm. This is a dump truck. <laughs> Whoa, and this is a front loader. It's just got one big giant bucket in the front. Let's try it out. Oh, come on. It's gonna dig in here. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right, back it up. Drive fast, dump truck. I'm trying, I'm trying, it's like hot lava. Oh, it dumps right into it really easy. But when I tap it, it stops. That's crazy. All right, excavator, get in here. We need your help. Stand on the rock, excavator. everybody we gotta work together let's help get grave digger out of this big sticky mess all right come on dig him out dig him out come on grave digger get in the back the bottom of the bin when I break it apart. Whoa, see that? It's like cracking. It's cracking all over, but then it turns right into a liquid. Watch this. Oh! Whoa. Wow, that sure was a lot of fun learning about Ublik with you. Hey, if you have any ideas of adventures that you want to go on, go ahead and have an adult comment below. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe to see more adventures. Bye-bye.
And today, we get to open this fun box from KiwiCo and learn about reptiles. Do you know what a reptile is? Well, a reptile is a creature that lays eggs, breathes air, needs sunlight to stay warm, and has scales. Have you ever seen a reptile before? Hmm, what kind of reptiles can you think of? A snake is a reptile, a lizard is a reptile, and a turtle is a reptile. Oh, did you know that? Look at this. So today, we have the materials to make a snake, play with a lizard, and decorate a turtle. Are you ready? Oh boy. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is get out all of these fun materials. Here's the stuff for the turtle. We've got googly eyes, Ugh, those are funny. Ooh, a chameleon, a lizard. Oh, and we get to play a game with them too. <gasps> Wowee, there's so many fun things to do here. <gasps> what should we do first? Maybe we should make the snake. We get to make the snake, oh boy. All right, so first we're gonna unwrap this piece of cloth here. Let's open up our stuffing. Look at this white stuff. It looks like snow, kind of. <laughs> Woo! It's snowing, Uncle Teddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We better save all this. Okay, and now we're gonna stuff it with stuffing. Here we go. farther. Alright, now I'm going to move all the stuffing around throughout the snake so it's evenly dispersed. Oh boy! <laughs> wow! Okay! This doesn't really look like a snake yet, does it? Not really. So, what we need to do is put some eyes on this snake. Okay, so here we have a packet of eyes for all of our different projects. So let's dump them out. Alrighty, which ones look like snake eyes? I think these ones do. All right. Peel them off like stickers. <gasps> Boop. One right there. And another one right here. <gasps> That's two eyes. <sniffs> Looking like a snake, huh? Well, reptiles have scales, remember? So we've got to put some scales on this snake. Alrighty. Hmm. These are cool felt stickers. They're sticky on the back, so they'll stick anywhere. Oh, this is looking cool. All right, get a blue one. And now we can just disperse some stickers along throughout its back. But we have to save some of these because we're gonna make a turtle with these too. so we can use some more for the, for the uh, turtle that we're gonna make too. Ta-da! Look at this! It's a snake! But what do snakes have that they use to make this hissing sound? Yeah, a tongue! So let's use these to make a tongue for our snake. All right. We just need one of these. And look at this. There's a little hole right here to stick this through. There we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? 
<laughs> it kind of made a horn sound. <laughs> That's silly. Wow, we our snake is really cool. What should we name him? Maybe Slithers, like Slithering Snake. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, did you know that snakes have different colored scales for different reasons? Like dark colored scales help hide from predators and light colored scales help scare predators away. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Oh boy, this is a really cool snake. Well, since we're done making the snake, let's put him over there. Now it's time to do the chameleon. Are you ready? Let's do the chameleon. So, what we'll need for that. Let's look at our handy dandy instructions. We'll need the colorful change. Oh, it says it changes colors. It says your chameleon will change colors when it gets warm. So try holding it in your hands or leaving it in the sun. Oh boy, let's see. <gasps> Whoa, it got lighter. That's pretty neat. Okay, so for the chameleon, what we're gonna do is play a game. First, we have to pop out all these little pieces. All right, so the first step is we set up all of these insects. <gasps> Look at this, this one says super worm. This one says fruit fly. Ooh, and this one says grain beetle. All right, now that we've got those set up, we've got to put eyes on our chameleon, huh? Okay, here we go. Let's stick some eyes on him. How about right there? Perfect. <laughs> Flip him over. Oops. Do the same thing on this side. Oh boy, they're a little uneven. <laughs> That's okay. All right. And now a chameleon has a really long sticky tongue so it can catch flies really easily. Flies and other bugs and insects like a superworm, fruit flies, and grain beetles. All right, so here's how we do it. We hold this thing up. We're gonna set these up over here. And I'm gonna try to knock them down with this chameleon tongue. Are you ready? Okay. <gasps> Yay, we did it! <gasps> Whoa, we did two at the same time! <laughs> did you know chameleons change colors for different reasons? Like chameleons change colors to tell other chameleons how they're feeling. Or they change colors to absorb heat. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> All right, well that was sure fun playing with that chameleon game. I guess it's time for the last craft, which is to build a turtle, to decorate a turtle. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is peel off this sticky part right here. Ooh, peel off the paper. Now it's super duper sticky. Then we take this. Ooh, this is a fun little special box. Oh, I like it. And we're gonna stick this onto our turtle. Now it's like a turtle shell. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rub it, make sure that it's on there nice and good. All righty. Now we get to take these right here and put them on the shell of our turtle, which is the box. Let's use the blue too. Our turtle's looking pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. Whoa, what are we missing on our turtle? How about some googly eyes? There they are, we have one more pair. Let's stick those right on the front of our turtle. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Ta-da! Look at that! We made a special turtle box. Now we can put special things in there and maybe give it to Uncle Teddy or something. Look at our cool box. Did you know that some turtles can hide inside of their shell when they're feeling scared? So they can pull all four legs and their head 
inside of their shell to hide their body. Now you can't see them. <gasps> That's pretty cool, huh? Wowee. Hey, I have an idea. Let's pretend that we are reptiles. Come on over here. These are fun movements we can do like reptiles. All right, so the first one is to crawl like a lizard. All right. We need a lizard tongue. Because <laughs> lizards crawl and they use long tongues to get their insects for food. All right, and the second one is hide like a chameleon. Chameleons can blend in with their surroundings. Can you see me? <laughs> That's pretty fun. All right, and another one. Chomp like a crocodile. Oh boy, crocodiles have big mouths with super sharp teeth. All right. Chomp like a crocodile. And the last one is slither like a snake. Are you ready? Hmm, let's get low to the ground and slither like a snake. We need our snake tongue again. Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty fun acting like reptiles, isn't it? Well, I sure had a lot of fun learning all about reptiles with you today. And thanks a lot, KiwiCo, for sending me this awesome box to explore all these fun things. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you want to stay up to date on all of our fun adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time.
because they're going to dry in the sun because it's nice and warm out. All right. So today, I brought a green bucket and a yellow shovel. This 
one's gray and flat. This would be a perfect skipping rock. Are you ready? Hard to skip in the ocean. <laughs> Look at this. This is another seashell. Wow, we just a piece of it. But look at that. All the ridges, it's like a rainbow almost. That's really pretty. I think I might save it. It's a special tre treasure. Wow, check this out. It's kind of like quicksand. You can make your feet disappear. Oh, look at over here. That's like a big canvas. I just want to write something. We could draw a heart or I could write my name. How about that? Okay. If you want to stay up to date on all of our fun adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
good exercise. When you dance, it moves your body and it sometimes makes you get out of breath or even a little bit sweaty. But that's really good, so keep it up. Good job. Well, now that we learned all the moves, now we can dance together. Are you ready? Let's dance. Like that. Oh, what is the shape of a tree? 
triangle. Hmm, maybe a pyramid is a triangle? Or a house roof? Look at that, this is the roof of a house. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's erase it. Okay, and the next shape we're gonna draw is a square. A square has four sides and they're all the same length. Look at that. Well, pretty much. That's not a perfect square, but that's pretty close. <laughs> hmm. What objects are the shape of a square? Maybe a present? Oh, we could make this into a present could be the shape of a square. That's kind of cool. Wow, well there's a square. Let's erase it. <laughs> okay, and the next shape we're gonna do is an oval which is like a longer circle. Let's check it out. That is an oval. What is the shape, what objects are the shape of an oval? It looks kind of like an egg, huh? <laughs> wow, all right. And we're gonna do one more shape before we learn how to draw. We're gonna draw a farm animal today. <laughs> all right, so this last shape is called a rectangle. A rectangle is a lot like a square, but two of its sides are longer. Wow, look at that, that's a rectangle. What is the shape of a rectangle? Hmm, sometimes Legos are shapes of a rectangle. Have you ever played with Legos before? Does that look like a Lego to you? Or even a brick is the shape of a rectangle? Wow, all right. Now that we learned some shapes, let's use the shapes to draw a farm animal. How about you just copy what I draw and then you can guess the animal, okay? All right, so the first shape we're gonna use is a circle. There's our circle. And then the next shape we're gonna use is the same circle, but it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna start halfway on this circle, and come up, go around, and back. Just like that. That's pretty easy, huh? All right, so now that we have our two circles, we're gonna draw a small oval. Are you ready? Oh boy. Can you tell what this animal is? Maybe not yet. Okay, then we're gonna do two dash marks right there for its nose. <laughs> I'm giving you clues, huh? All right, then we're gonna do two triangles. Okay, and now that we have our two triangles, we're gonna do two dots for the eyes. Can you tell what this animal is? We're almost finished. Now, let's draw some rectangles for the feet. Here we go. Whoop. One, two, three, four. Oh boy, <laughs> this is kind of a silly looking animal, isn't it? And the last piece is a wiggly tail. <gasps> Can you tell what our animal is? Well, it's a farm animal. Most of the time it's pink. And it makes the sound, boink, boink, boink. <laughs> That's right, it's a pig. <laughs> Woohoo, good job. All right, well now that we drew this pig on the whiteboard, what if we paint one on this piece of paper? This is a pink piece of paper because most of the time piggies are pink, huh? Okay, are you ready to paint? We're gonna paint on this pink piece of paper. So today, we're gonna use watercolor. Watercolor is all dry. Look, when I touch it, there's no paint on my fingers. But when you have a cup of water and a paintbrush, you can dip it in. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. We're painting on this pink piece of paper. All right, so to paint our piggy, let's use the color black. So I'm gonna dip it in here. Put it in our black. We're gonna paint 
this circle first, remember? Ooh, just like that. Okay. Then we're gonna do a bigger circle. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, that's looking pretty good to me. All right. Then we have an oval nose. Whoop. Okay, two eyes. Boop, boop. Oh, we forgot the dashes in the nose there like that. See there, that looks pretty good. And then the two triangles for the ears, for our little piggy ears. Then we have the square or the rectangles for the feet. There we go. That looks pretty silly, doesn't it? He's a cute little pig. <laughs> All right. And then the last piece that we painted, uh, that we're gonna paint is this squiggly tail. Whoop! <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty fun. Now that we've got our piggy all painted, we can paint other elements of the picture. Like, hmm, what if we painted some green grass for the piggy to play in? All right, we could do like some lines. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Okay. Then we could do a yellow sun. Let's see. circle for the sun with some sun rays coming off of it. We can color it in too. See that? Wow. That's pretty fun. I like watercolor painting. That's really fun. Oh, hey, do you see? We kind of have all the colors of the rainbow. So first color of a rainbow is red. Ready? Let's do it right over the piggy like this. Good job. Then we're gonna do orange. I like the color orange. That's a pretty bright color. That's awesome. Okay, then we're gonna paint with the color yellow. Just like that. Then green. This is really fun. Do you like to make art? If you do, you should send me some of your artwork so I can see it. And maybe we could even hang it up here. That would be kind of fun. Okay, and the very last color to use is purple. Woo, okay. Now all we're missing are some clouds. Let's draw some clouds on the both sides of our rainbow. It's kind of going over our pig like this. Ooh. Look at that! That looks really fun, doesn't it? Oh boy. Hmm, maybe we should figure out something to do with those blue dots that I painted. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Well, I love painting. And you know what's fun about doing art? Is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, it expresses your emotions. And this painting makes me feel happy. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. So if you have any art projects that you want to do or tell me about, be sure to comment so I can maybe practice them myself or you can send them in and I can look at them. That would be really fun. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, if you want to stay up to date on all of our adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. Thank you. Wreck. And today, we're going to do a little art project. Oh boy, do you like to do art? I do. But guess what? Today, instead of using paint, we're going to make paint. <laughs> this is called egg tempera paint. And it was used back in the 1400s. That's a long time ago. <laughs> so we're going to get started. 
All right, so the things that you're gonna need are an egg, of course, because we're making egg tempera paint, some bowls, a little water, paper towels, some rocks to grind it up, because we're gonna pretend we live way back in the Middle Ages, <laughs> some paint brushes, some turmeric, which will be the pigment for your color. This is gonna make a cool yellow color, and maybe even whatever else you wanna use. I'm gonna make this black. This is burnt wood. And then we can gather some other colors too. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a bowl and grab your egg and you're gonna crack it open. Then you're gonna separate the egg white from the yolk. You might need some help from your parent. Ooh, look at this. You're gonna go back and forth, back and forth until you get most of the egg white into the bowl. And we're not gonna use the egg white, we're actually gonna use the yolk. So now, let's dump the yolk. Actually, first things first, I almost forgot. This is where the paper towel comes in. You lay your paper towel down like this. Now, we are going to, this is the fun part. We want to get the egg yolk to break and drain without a lot of the egg whites coming into it. It's kind of sticky and messy. <laughs> I like it. All right, most of it's drained. That's probably good right about there. Then we're gonna use these paper towels to clean up your sticky fingers. All right, and now it's time to create the pigment, which is color. So we are gonna take a little bit of our egg yolk and a paintbrush here and pour it into this bowl. Okay, that's probably enough. Set this aside. And we're gonna use turmeric, which is a spice. Dump some in there. And then we'll mix it around. You can always add more pigment too if you want. This painting's gonna be kind of textured because we're using actual nature and nature has a lot of different textures, doesn't it? I'm gonna add a little bit more turmeric. There we go. Wow, once you have your color, what kind of things will you paint with the color yellow or orange? It could be like a sunset. You could paint the stripes on a bumblebee. You could paint a beautiful flower. There are so many beautiful things with the color yellow, huh? All right, should we test out our color? Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, wow, look at our paint. That's really pretty, isn't it? All right, now we're gonna make another color. This time, we're gonna make the color black. So I'm gonna leave that right there. Guess what this is? This is a burnt piece of wood, so it's got some charcoal on it, which will make a really pretty black. So, we'll use this right here. I'm gonna use this rock to grind up some of this black, but first, let's get the egg yolk into this blue container. All right. So, all right, now my fingers are gonna get messy again. All right, let's see. Oh, we might not even need to use this rock. I might be able to just crunch it up. No, we'll use the rock. Wow, check out this black color. Oh, I like it a lot. All right, let's stir it around a little bit. Are we ready to test it out? Wowee, that's cool. Wow, making art is so much fun and it's easy to do when you have nature all around. All righty, so now we're gonna create another color. We've got one more bowl for one more color. What is something that you see around me that would be a really pretty color? You're right, 
How about the color green? There's grass all around me. Come on, let's get some. All right, we get a little handful of green grass. Bring it back over to our bowl. And now we're gonna use this rock to smush it up. I'm gonna use my fingers to break apart a little bit first. This is really fun. You should definitely try it at home. All right, we're just about ready. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of the big chunks out. See what we have here. I'm gonna rinse or wash this little paintbrush off so I can use it really quick. Okay, add some more yolk. Okay, smush it around. We're gonna see if this turns out green. Keep mixing. Can you imagine artists a long time ago? They had to work hard to get the colors they wanted, huh? this green a little bit, we can test it out. The grass was a little bit harder to use, so maybe you could try berries or something. All right, let's try it. Ooh, it's kind of a really light green, isn't it? Artists a long time ago would let it dry and then do another layer and another layer and another layer if they wanted it to be a really dark, rich color. So if we let that dry and then we did another layer of green, it might look really pretty and dark, but that's pretty like it is too. Wow. Well, should we paint a picture with all of our colors? Of course, let's do it. All right, well now that I've got this piece of paper, what should we paint? How about something in nature, like a bee and some grass? Okay. All right, so we're first gonna use this green to get some grass in here. Ooh, we might actually get some real pieces of grass. That'll add texture to our painting. Let's use black to outline a bumblebee. And they have a head. And a stinger on a bumblebee. Have you ever been stunned by a bee before? It kind of hurts, doesn't it? We've got some wings. Bumblebees have stripes, huh? Now, let's wipe off our paintbrush here. Use the color yellow. Hey, <laughs> that kind of looks like a bumblebee, doesn't it? Maybe one big flower over here. Bumblebees love to suck on the nectar from flowers, huh? Look at our painting! I can't believe it! We used all of nature to paint this little piece of artwork, huh? That's really cool! Well, I hope you get a chance to try this at home. All you need is eggs 
and anything colorful in nature. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me on today's episode of Frecky Freck. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, if you want to stay up to date on all of our fun adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
with a couple teeth. Just like this. Go up and then. Okay, what do you think? Does that look pretty good? Let's see what he looks like down flat. Hmm. That looks pretty good to me. All right, you ready to carve? Wow, okay, look at all these different shapes and sizes of saws that I have. I have a real tiny one, a medium one, and a large one. Okay, so now that I have this medium saw, I'm gonna start with the eyes. Okay, you gotta be real strong and make sure an adult is present. Okay, so I'm gonna carve out this triangle eyeball. Whoop. Okay, ready? Oh, hey! <laughs> That's pretty neat. Look at this, Uncle Teddy. We just did an eye. Oh, wow. Good job, Becky Brack. That looks really good. <laughs> He's so encouraging. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do this other side. Uh, okay. And then across. It's okay if you don't stay exactly on the lines. Hey, that looks really good. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna need a smaller saw for this nose, cause the nose is a lot smaller. Then we're stabbing in there. Oh boy, <laughs> this is really fun. I love the fall weather. So many fun things to do in the fall. Okay, oh, wow, that looks pretty good. Now it's time for the mouth. I'm gonna use this big saw again, move my bucket out of the way. Okay. Okay, make sure not to go toward me. I wouldn't wanna accidentally hurt myself. That looks good. Okay, down for the teeth. This part can get a little bit tricky. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I accidentally knocked out his tooth. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. Now it just looks like a goofy pumpkin. <laughs> wow, well, Mr. Pumpkin, you look pretty good. I think I'm gonna make his nose a little bit bigger. Sometimes you can put a candle inside of the pumpkin and turn off all the lights and you get to see your pumpkin glow. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can put this cap back on him. Here's your hat, mister. We gotta spin it until it looks about right. Let's see, how was it? Oh, there we go, perfect. Hey, there's my pumpkin. Oh boy, I think that looks pretty neat. Look at all these pumpkin seeds. You hear that? It's so gushy and sticky and slimy. Kind of fun to play with. Where'd you go? Ah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Should I taste it? That doesn't taste very good. <laughs> wow, now that I've put some candles in here, we can watch my pumpkin glow. <laughs> All right, put the cap back on. Isn't that neat? He's only got one tooth too. That's kind of funny. A lot of people like to put these out on their porch at night to let them glow. Wow, well that sure was fun carving this pumpkin with you. Wasn't it, Uncle Teddy? Did you see the final one? He looks good. <laughs> oh, yes he does. I really like it. <laughs> thanks, Uncle Teddy. Oh, all right, well thanks for joining us today. I hope to see you next on another adventure. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Becky 
Rick. And Uncle Teddy's here today, too. We're having a tea party. You want to join us? Today, we're going to talk about colors and manners, what it's like to be nice, and how to be patient. <laughs> oh, would you like some tea, Uncle Teddy? Here you go, buddy. Wow, he has the color blue cup, and I have the color red cup. Oh, isn't that pretty? Thank you, Miss Bricky Brick. Oh, you're welcome, Uncle Teddy. I always love having tea parties with you. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dump Truck. Oh, hey, guys. I just want to play with you today. Um, yeah, but Mr. Dump Truck, we were in the middle of having a tea party, and you kind of just messed it up a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. I just really want to play with you, and uh, I really like dumping stuff. Oh, I can see that, Mr. Dump Truck. Uh, but how about you play tea party with us, and then when we're done, we can build blocks with you. Does that sound like a good idea? Oh, sure thing, Miss Bricky Brook. Okay. Well, I got a little crown for Mr. Dump Truck. We can put that on him. That looks good. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Dump Truck. Look, you can have this red cup. It's super yummy. Oh, wow. Let's scooch these blocks out of the way. Mr. Dump Truck, do you see how you being impatient kind of upset us and maybe hurt our feelings a little bit? Yeah, I see that, Brookie Brook. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Mr. Dump Truck. Would you like some tea? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Dump Truck. Okay. Well, hey, look at all these yummy things. These are super colorful vegetables and fruits. Right here we have a green broccoli, an orange carrot, a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, green asparagus, purple eggplant, and purple grapes. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Those are all really healthy vegetables. Wow, you know another special thing I like? Ice cream. Do you guys want to have some ice cream? <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna go make you guys a cone really quick, and I'll be right back. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. I dropped my big ice cream cone. Well, look. I brought you an ice cream cone, Uncle Teddy. Oh, don't check. <laughs> I almost forgot. We need to share, huh? Uncle Teddy shouldn't eat all this ice cream all by himself. <laughs> I have two cones. Here you go, Dump Chuck. Which colors do you guys like? Should we go over our colors really quick? Hmm, okay. So, we have, let's clean these up. Here we go. We have white, blue, green, orange, pink, brown, purple, light blue, yellow, and red. Oh, wow. Well, what colors are your favorites? My favorite color is yellow and green. But we can decide who wants what. So Uncle Teddy, what's your favorite color? Um, hmm. I think I'll have some red and light blue. And maybe some chocolate, too. I love chocolate. Ooh, that sounds like a yummy ice cream cone. Here you go. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. What about you, Mr. Dump Truck? What are your favorite colors? Oh, I really love the color orange and yellow. Oh, well, that's my favorite color, too. But I can share with you. <laughs> Thank you, Brucky Brook. And what about dark blue? Three scoops, here you go. 
Mmm, that's yummy. You should put it in my dump truck. There you go. Oh, he gobbled that right up, didn't he? <laughs> oh, wow. And one more for me. How about I have purple? I love all the colors of the rainbow. Wow, purple, green, white. There's one left over. Well, I guess we'll just save that one for later. Mm. Mm. I love ice cream. It sure is a yummy treat. Wow, well, this is a fun tea party. Are you guys having fun? I sure am. Yes, sir. I am, Bricky Brick. Okay, well, do you guys want to play blocks now? Thank you so much for being patient, Mr. Dump Truck. I think we're ready to play some blocks, but first, we should probably clean up our tea party mess. Okay, let's just put everything up here on the table. There we go. It's always important to clean up after yourself when you've been playing a lot. There we go. Okay, well now we can bring over the blocks. <laughs> oh, I'll help you. Oh, I almost forgot I put ice cream in your dump truck. <laughs> Okay. Wow, look at all these blocks, Mr. Dump Truck. Wow. There's some more over here, too. Whoa. Well, what should we build, you guys? How about a big, tall tower? That's a good idea. Okay, well, we should take turns. All right. First, to build a good tower, you want to have a big base. Wow, we're building like a wall, huh? Oh. And then we can do this. Mr. Dump Truck, we weren't done building our tower yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got really excited. Um, okay, but that kind of hurt my feelings because I was in the middle of building a big tower. I'm sorry, Brecky Breck. You know what, I'll just calm down and take a turn. Okay, thank you. And I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Thank you for acknowledging my feelings. It's okay, I forgive you. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Mr. Dump Truck, you have to have patience this time. Don't just knock over my tower, okay, please? All right, I won't. Okay. Wow. This is gonna be really cool. You know what's fun about redoing things? Sometimes it gets better and better every time you do it. We're getting more and more creative. This could be like a door. There really isn't a pattern to this tower. This is like a big giant castle that's full of imagination, creativity. Maybe I even have some vegetables and ice cream in here. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, let's make this a little bit taller. What do you think, Uncle Teddy? Do you like my tall castle? Oh, I love it. We could pretend that we're the kings and queens of this castle. Oh, that's a great idea. Wow, look at this. We've almost used all of the blocks. Whoa, this is super tall, isn't it? Okay. Wow, hey, Mr. Dump Truck, you were patient and waited for me to finish. And now that we're all done, I think it's time that you can knock it over if you'd like. Oh, wow, do you really mean it, Pokey Brook? I sure do. <laughs> okay, Mr. Dump Truck, well, I'm gonna get out of the way so you can just bulldoze this thing down. <gasps> Are you ready? <laughs> One, two. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's like the most fun part is just destroying stuff sometimes because it feels really good. 
but there's always a time and a place to destroy something like that. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Dump Trump? Then you sure are right, Brecky Breck. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings earlier. Oh, it's okay. How are you doing, Uncle Teddy? Are you having fun? Oh, I just love working together as a team. <laughs> Me too. Well, hey, I think it's time we clean up all these blocks now. Thank you so much for joining us today and learning about colors and what it's like to be nice even when you get your feelings hurt or you might feel a little bit upset. Just make sure that you use your words and communicate, okay? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey! If you want to stay up to date on all of our adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. <laughs>